Greetings Ari the Stag fans, TR Tony here, out and about at the recent Christchurch car show. You'll remember we did this back in early October when actually it was really hot and sunny and I just wanted to post this week. There was one car, one Triumph there that I thought was a stunning example and worthy of posting up on the Ari the Stag YouTube channel. As you know we love loads of different cars and there was a good representation of Triumph Stags and other Triumphs and other classics there and we did a, a film the other day about an American uh, classic that uh, we thought was uh, probably car of the show. But nevertheless this was for us the car of the show uh, as far as Triumph is concerned and let me just walk you around this beautiful fantastic looking red glistening in the sunshine TR6. This is a lovely looking TR6. He's had it for 20 years and the paintwork was done 20 years ago apparently. G Reg, that's so a fairly early one. Petrol injection engine as you can see. How about that for immaculate finish? And then uh, these guys just said, I'll tell you what, you get the bits, we'll build them. Fantastic finish. Yeah, good, good move. So we're not going to hear the TR6 PI start up. <laughs> yeah. It's a hell of an engine, isn't it? There you go. Remember what I said? This is the stay, all right? <laughs> yes, I know. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's got to start first time, not, not after the 15th, yeah. There you go. Oh, no, really. <laughs> well, after that little treat, that really is a stunning TR6, it really is. He spent a lot of money on it, it's worth about, he reckoned about 38 grand on insurance, um, 30 on a good day selling, uh, but he's put a lot of work into it. Okay, so I think you'll all agree that was a fantastic looking TR6 and the owner should be really proud of all the work he's put into it over the last 20 or so years. Whilst we were there, I also dug out a little bit more footage that we hadn't shown on the channel before. Uh, some more triumphs for us to enjoy. So let's go back to the show and finish off with a look at those. Got December 73 on the windscreen. And again, similar colour to mine. No pinstripes on this one, but that's Matt Rejoice. And um, looks a very tidy car. Inside, manual, overdrive, Mark II. gear selector there and um, I like these some, some of our drivers do the adaptation with the plug in the um, and also these as well just to cover up the mechanicals inside so again must get a pair of those set of those for mine otherwise you can see straight into the void yeah <laughs> Have another TR6 over here. No owner to talk to, but again, decent one. K Reg, black interior. It's got slightly adapted seats for the looks of it. Again, safety with the roll bar. Not a bad idea, I think, these days, because we will take safety for standard these days, don't we, in modern cars? But in the olden days, if you rolled it, you were in trouble. Um, so, uh, very sensible, actually. Again, personal preference, each to their own, but uh, it looks a blend of old and new. Nice steering wheel. Good looking car. Looks like it's travelled a bit too. Alright guys, well we hope you enjoyed that behind the scenes shots of the TR6, that stunning TR6 in that beautiful October sunshine, plus a few additional triumphs as well. That's it for this week guys, have a great week and we'll see you online on Harry the Stag very soon. Cheers for now, bye.